this video, we are going to take a look at the text box and some of the functionality of this nifty component. The text box is a very versatile component. One of the most common uses is for large or small pieces of text, such as overviews, explanations and information. The text can be manipulated by changing the style, format, bolding, underlining, colour, and more. You can add tables, use dot points or numbers for lists, insert quotes, change the alignment, and much more. Spell check occurs automatically, and when a word has been misspelt, you will see a red underline. By right-clicking the word, you can select the correct word from the dictionary. And for all the mathematicians out there, you can create simple or advanced mathematical problems. A tip for when using the text editor, you have the option to expand the text editor space that you are working on for when you need a larger view of the area. This makes it easier to view and edit larger content. You can also add images, video and files in the text box. If you click on the image or video audio symbols, the Embed Resource window will pop up. You can add the URL of a file you wish to embed if it lives online, or click the Choose File button and drag and drop a file from your computer. You can edit the display options, including width, height, and alignment, and even add a border. Embedding videos, audio files, images and external websites is a bonus feature within the text editor. You can embed items from external websites such as YouTube, Google Docs, Flickr images or anything else you can think of. There are a number of ways to do this. Firstly, you can paste the link directly into the text editor it will automatically try to embed the URL into the text box. You can also select the Embed iframe button to the right of the Image button and paste the URL into the pop-up window. Edit the preferred dimensions and appearance for the page and select OK. Here are some cool examples of how you can use embedding within the text box component. A text box component here has embedded a Google Map Photosphere image for an amazing interactive 360 degree view of a popular Japanese destination. This text box shows a Google Map embedded so that the students can explore the map of an upcoming excursion. Collaborative documents from external sources can also be embedded into a text box component. Just like this example of a class glossary that all students can edit and use for their learning. The text editor is also found outside the text box component in many different areas around Schoolbox. Look out for it in blog posts, news posts, surveys and forms, quizzes, and many other places. One of the most commonly accessed places you will find the text editor is when you create a student activity, such as a due work or quiz. 
Check out this example. This French quiz has a text editor with an embedded audio file and image for students to answer engaging questions without being directed to an external source. When creating news, the text editor will allow you to engage your audience with not only text, but images and links, just like this example. Video or images are handy when creating surveys to collaborate in groups about certain issues or make decisions. This survey for a basketball group page allows teammates to discuss possible strategic actions for their upcoming game. Engage your learners now with the text box and text editor.